<laughs> so Joe, you and I sat down in 2012 after the RNC, yep. and you talked to me about your vision, and here it is. It's, it's finally here. Yeah, we've had, uh, the, the team has worked very hard over the last four years to bring this project to life. It's a billion dollar project, and we brought it in within 10%, within 1% of budget, and on pretty much on time. So that's unheard of. And it's done because uh, our board gave us the, the, the will to do it. Our team stood behind the vision and got it done. And it's, it's really, it's very gratifying for me to see it now. How is it that you've basically been able to transform an airport in such a short period of time? That's really, it's a really good question, Gail. I, I think the answer is that we have a governance structure that allows for us to move quickly. So we have five board members, and two are appointed polit are politicians, and three are appointed by the governor. They work very quickly with us. They, they believed in the vision and they, they encouraged us to move quickly. They encouraged us to bring it in on time and on budget. So without that leadership, it, it becomes very bureaucratic and a lot of red tape and it can slow you down and it can ruin a project. My board gave us the, the ability to move quickly and we did. Did you ever dream it would come to fruition like this? I guess you got no. to dream big. <laughs> no, I, I, I do dream big, but I've actually gone and stood in the, in the main terminal here, the, the Grand Hall, as I call it. I get off the elevator every morning to go to work, and I just stand there and look around and see how massive this new space is and how open and bright and light it is. And I, I saw drawings of it, and I believe the drawings were nice, but when, I, when I'm in, in that environment myself, it's really awesome. And I noticed, like, as you walk around, you seem to know the local vendors, you seem to know who's in your airport, and that's what truly gives people a taste of Tampa Bay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're really like one big family out here. Everyone from TSA to the baggage handlers to the janitors, I know everybody, and they know me, and I say hello to everybody as soon as I see them. And we're all in this together. We all are trying to deliver great customer service, whether it be a TSA guy or a guy in a restaurant or the guy in Ulay or four green fields. We have our local concepts and we're we're the face of Tampa, we're the spirit of Tampa and we have to live it every day. You know better than anyone an airport drives a city. It's what brings big business, it mm -hmm. brings corporations to become headquartered in Tampa Bay. I mean this is the gateway to our Tampa Bay area. Yeah, I, I, I like to say we're the center of gravity and as we grow so does the city grow, so does the community grow and, and it's our job really, our enabling act says that it's our job to create uh, economic prosperity through commerce and tourism. And you do not see airports like this in some of major cities, yeah. you know, worldwide. Yeah. I think that's sadly true. And um, we're, we're blessed because the original design was really brilliant to have a central terminal building and then have satellite terminals with trains connecting it. That was really very, very forward thinking at its time. We were the first airport in the world that had automated people movers working at the airport. And it wasn't Singapore or, you know, Shanghai, it was good old Tampa. And we've just kept that forward thinking and we've, we've always held high standards. We will not let our standards go down. And so we are way ahead of everybody else and it's because um, we believe in the legacy of greatness that we've been given. As you look around at this incredible creation, what are your favorite nooks and crannies of this airport? <laughs> uh, I got a lot. This actually is one of my favorites here in the art piece that's, that's right over here of the turtle, the sea turtle. It's so bright and airy and, and right out here is a, a courtyard and and gardens. We have an outdoor bar and restaurant. I mean, where do you see that anywhere else in, in, in the world, let alone this country? So I would say this is, this is my favorite spot. The transactions in the economy parking garage since we put the train in are up almost 30%. So customer, I mean, the word spreads quickly. People really know this airport and know everything about it. So when you have a train going from economy, people tell their neighbors and tell their friends, and it's a very popular product now. And the rental cars is unbelievable. Yeah, the rental car experience that we've created, I, I have a bunch of uh, my fellow colleague airport directors from around the country were here for a conference, and I took them to the rental car center, and they were envious as, as all get out because we did it so well. And we have now we have these um, the ability to check your baggage right at the bag at the rental car center and get your boarding pass at the rental car center so when you drop your car off let's say you got strollers car seats baggage and all that 
You can drop that off if you're 90 minutes before departure. They'll check your bag there, give you a boarding pass. Then you just take the train, come out here to the transfer level and go out to your plane. You never have to go down to ticketing to check your bags or anything. So it's the, it's the best in the country, if not the world. What's next? Oh boy, we, we don't stop. We're gonna create express curbsides. So if you already have a boarding pass and you have a carry-on bag, you don't wanna mess with checking in baggage, you'll go to a new set of curbsides with their own elevators and escalators to take you right up here to the transfer level. <clears throat> Never have to mess with the, the inside curbs, you'll go to the express curbs. And we're gonna build a nine-story office building that's gonna be attached to the train. So we're going to take three stories of that office building and we're going to lease out six stories. But can you imagine the convenience of having an office connected to a train that takes you to the plane? You could leave your office, go on a flight, and never move your car. This is going to be the best in probably the country, certainly in, in Tampa. Now with this big project done, we've increased our concessions, food, beverage, and retail by $5 million a year, additional revenue coming into us. We've improved our bottom line from $15 million to 50. And that allows us to reinvest in the airport, to make more investments, to make more repairs, and make it better. I would come here just to hang out in the airport. I don't even need to travel to enjoy this airport, neither does anyone else for that matter. I, if I want a Starbucks on the weekend, I come to the airport. Uh, you see me out here on Saturdays having really? a coffee. Yeah, just walking around in shorts. I and I don't it. have to wear a tie. You look like a tourist. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much, Joe. Thank God, you, it's Gail. just been such an honor to yeah.